Tomorrow it will be three months since little William Tyrrell disappeared from his grandmother's home in Kendall, New South Wales. His name now part of a staggering statistic among the 100 Australians who go missing every single day. It's a mystery that's touched family, friends and strangers. The only thing they're hoping to find is this three-year-old boy. After 12 agonising weeks and a nationwide alert, there's still no sign of William Tyrrell. We just urge you please to contact the police. Former Victorian detective Charlie Bazina knows what investigators are up against. They've got to make an assessment on the evidence they get from the family member or the um, anyone at all so that investigators can react in a timely fashion because time is of the essence. He also knows how many missing persons cases may never be solved. One that still troubles him is the 1992 disappearance of Jackie Ramchin, a former model and hostess on the 70s TV show The Price is Right. She was last seen dropping her children at school just a few hundred metres from her Melbourne home. To this very day, we haven't found the, the body and I've got no doubt in my mind that, that she was murdered. Uh, by her husband. But husband Victor never faced a murder trial. Initial charges were dismissed because the court ruled Jackie may have run off with a lover. And Victor died six months later. When there's a person that says, look, my wife has just left, taken her bags, that's when the antenna's got to go up and say, this just isn't right. For those left behind, not knowing can be the hardest thing of all. Lauren O'Keefe is about to spend the fourth Christmas without her brother Dan, who vanished in 2011. The first four months, I don't think I slept properly anyway. I mean, I'd, you know, I'd lay down and I'd start thinking about all the possible scenarios because anything is possible when someone goes missing. A breakthrough came after we highlighted Dan's case on the project. Two women watching in Ipswich recognised Dan and Lauren flew to Queensland to view CCTV vision. I called mum and dad and I, I said, yep. It is, it is Dan. But the trail had gone cold and Dan is still missing. When someone comes to a private investigator and says, I want you to find my son, they are very, very limited because of the privacy issues. The best that they could do is go, if they find the missing person, and say, look, uh, your mum is, wants to know that you're safe and well, um, can you please contact her? They, they can't say to the person making the request, this is where they are. It's like a needle in a haystack, you know, and you're doing it by yourself. Not wanting others to go through what she has, Lauren set up the Missing Persons Advocacy Network, an online self-help site dedicated to providing the answers thousands of families need. We're talking about an issue that directly affects half a million Australians every year, but we don't hear about it, we don't talk about it, we don't think about it, so we've got to change that. And the response to high-profile cases like William Tyrrell's disappearance shows just how many people will help if only they're given the chance.